So not surprisingly, there are different models for how you can conduct your EMI class session. In one, you might first do a language mini lesson and a content lesson. That means that you can start with key vocabulary to have them study for homework. If you make this first warm-up activity interactive, that would be best. In this model, you can then do a mini lecture on the content area, including the key vocabulary that students should know, and even writing the words on the board as necessary. And then you can do an activity that asks students to show you how they've learned the content, such as a quiz or a group discussion or project. In the other model, you start immediately with the content, such as a mini lecture. And when you need to, you stop in order to explain key vocabulary or ideas. You can see with either method, you acknowledge that students are non-native English speakers and that they will need some extra support. It's just a matter of when you provide that support. That will depend on the course you are teaching and the students you have. That concludes our video about different models for how you can conduct your EMI class sessions. You might also have some other things that you've tried or talked to some of your colleagues about. Be sure to share ideas with others on ways that you can make your EMI class work.